Hi there, Timothy Linsdow, video producer, Christian. Work with the Scouts and Kiwanians in my semi-retirement, keeping busy here. What's going on down here? This is local, not quite on the border, but local. Pentagon okayed military bases for coronavirus quarantine, and one of those is Miramar, which is a, a marine air base near uh, me in San Diego. Defense Secretary Mark uh, Esper on Saturday approved a request from the Department of Health and Human Services for the use of military facilities to accommodate a thousand people who may have uh, uh, who have to be quarantined from upon arrival from overseas due to the uh, coronavirus that has killed more than 300 and sickened more than 14,000. That's a number I heard about uh, uh, those sick in China. Uh, the, the Marine base, Miramar, is uh, among the four military bases chosen uh, for temporary housing for U.S. citizens and are being evacuated from China due to the virus outbreak. Now, the Pentagon said Saturday, Miramar officials said they expect to receive a flight of returning Americans but have no details as to when. Uh, in support of Health and Human Services, Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, will be temporarily housing for American citizens in the process of returning from China. Uh, a Defense Department uh, statement said uh, HHS officials requested the use of several facilities capable of housing at least 250 people in individual rooms uh, through February 29th because they're saying that 14-day um, four, quarantine, I was just thinking uh, how much that could mess up your your life, but nothing compared to the sickness it could. Uh, HHS uh, would be responsible for all care, transportation, security of evacuees, according to that statement. The other three bases are the 168th Regiment Regional Training Institute, Fort Carson, Colorado, Travis Air Force Base in the Bay Area, and uh, Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. Nearly 200 Americans already are quarantined in March uh, Air Reserve Base in Riverside County and are being evacuated uh, after being evacuated from China. Now, none of the Americans uh, housed at, at March has shown any sign of illness, but it can take two weeks for the illness uh, symptoms to show up. So, there you go. Miramar authorities said passengers will prov be provided food, water, lodging, and sundries while aboard the, uh, of the base from Health and Human Services and receive medical care if required. HHS would also be responsible for all transportation and security of evacuees, HHS said. Now the viral outbreak in China, where the death toll has risen to 304, according to figures released today, more than, for again, 14,300 people have been infected. In the coronavirus globally, the vast majority of them on the Chinese mainland. Uh, the first of the virus uh, death outside China was reported early today, a 44-year-old uh, Chinese man in the Philippines. Uh, amid the rapidly rising number of infections and deaths, the World Health Organization warned that other countries need to be prepared in the event of disease spreads among their population. Now this is, uh, from what I understand, the only real way to contain these things is quarantine. And uh, reminds me of the story of the Spanish flu in 1918 and that what I'd heard about how wicked that was and millions of people died. There were people in, in New York said they knew so many people that died that they, they started thinking the whole world's going to die. Um, but eventually it, it abated and went away. And I'm sure, you know, everybody, all these health professionals and so forth are thinking about that, you know, could this break loose and be that bad. Wow. Excuse me. I didn't drink here, but it'd be crazy. But um, it's it's really terrific to see them get busy. Uh, Trump uh, signed an act of uh, for quarantine and uh, making this, uh, uh, let's see, I believe it's, uh, anybody coming in from China is 14 days of quarantine and no uh, foreign 
uh, travelers from China can even come into the U.S. Multiple uh, air, airlines have canceled flights from China until this thing settles down. Other countries, uh, Australia, Germany, Japan, South Korea, United Arab Emirates, the United States, and Vietnam all reported new cases on Saturday. Spain confirmed its first case. A, a German man who had close contact with an infected person in Germany and traveled to the Canary Islands with friends. And you can see their ability to move around, it doesn't take very long. That was the one thing they said that happened with the uh, Spanish flu, 1918, was it got into the troops of World War I, and then when the, uh, you know, enough were infected, that when the war was over, all those soldiers were sent back to their prospective countries. And that was one of the reasons it exploded, because it, you were sending these people all over. And then away it went. So I'm really happy to see that, you know, they've gotten really serious about jumping on this right away. You know, and, and, and dealing with it. Um, uh, other U.S. cases, uh, California, Illinois, Washington, and Arizona, uh, despite imposing drastic travel restrictions at home, China has chafed at those imposed by foreign governments, criticizing Washington's order, barring entry to most non-citizens who visited China in the past two weeks. Uh, Australian uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced similar measures Saturday following Japan and Singapore. South Korea and India flew hundreds of their citizens out of Wuhan, the city at the center of the area where some 50 million people are prevented from leaving in a sweeping anti-virus effort. Now, <laughs> can you imagine stopping, well, not all of them are going to be moving, but 50 million people are prevented from leaving. Maybe they can only do that in China, I don't know, but wow. Evacuees uh, went into a two-week quarantine. Indonesia has also sent a plane to evacuate people. Now, when you evacuate, that means that, that could be in that group that you're moving out of there. So hopefully they contain it with that quarantine. The virus rapid spread in two months prompted the World Health Organization on Thursday to declare it a global emergency. The declaration flipped the switch from a cautious attitude to recommending governments prepare for the possibility the virus might spread. And that was by the WHO representative in Beijing, Gaudan Galea. Now, most cases reported have been people who visited China uh, or their family members. The agency acted out of concern for poor countries that might not be equipped to respond. Uh, declaration calls for a coordinating international response can bring more money and resources. The WHO said it was especially concerned that some cases abroad involve human-to-human -human transmission. Countries need to get ready for possible importation in order to identify cases as early as possible and in order to be ready for domestic outbreak control. Wow, sounds apocalyptic, doesn't it? Woo. Uh, the United States declared a public health emergency on Friday and Trump, Trump signed an order bar, uh, barring any entry to foreign nationals, uh, see, uh, barring entry to foreign nationals who visited China within the last 14 days, and which scientists say is the virus' longest incubation period. The restrictions don't apply to immediate family of American citizens and permanent residents. Beginning today, the U.S. will also begin fueling all flights to the U.S. Excuse me, funneling. From China to seven major airports where passengers can be screened for illness. That's New York's JFK International, Chicago O'Hare, uh, San Francisco International, Seattle Tacoma uh, uh, International, and Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International. And several others. Let's see. Daniel Inoue uh, into Hawaii. China criticized U.S. controls and unfriendly comments, alleging that Beijing was failing to cooperate. Oh, boy, here come the politics. <laughs> uh, just as WHO recommended against travel restrictions, the U.S. rushed to go in the opposite way, certainly not a gesture of goodwill, said the foreign ministry spokeswoman for China. 
The uh, death rate in China is falling, but the number of confirmed cases will keep growing because of the uh, thousands of specimens from suspected cases have yet to be tested. <clears throat> WHO said the case fatality ratio is settling out at a much lower level than they were <clears throat> a few weeks ago. Although scientists expect to see limited transmission of the virus uh, between people with family or other close contact, they're concerned about cases of infection spreading to people who might have had less exposure. So hopefully, uh, they, you know, one of the U.S. officials said right now the in in infection uh, seems to be low in outside of China, and he said we want to keep it that way. I like that quick reaction, positive, get something done, stop it in its tracks. Let's hope, hope and pray. So like and comment on my video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Be careful. Get out there and make it a great day.